What is going on guys? This is Crozen and welcome to another Starfield build. I call this the Cyborg and it is basically an energy weapons build so we're going to be using a lot of lasers, a lot of particle beams and the cool thing about energy weapons is that they do so much damage and they are very fun to use. Uh, the bad part is there's just not a lot of variety so when you compare it to say ballistic weapons you have so many different ballistic weapons in this game Whereas energy weapons, not so much. You only have a handful of them, you know. So if you could get past that, and if you want to use weapons that are more space-like and something to cosplay such as like a cyborg, then this is the build for you. So uh, we're going to showcase this one at level 60, and yeah, let's get into making the cyborg. Starting with our background, we're going to select the Cyberneticist. Uh, Cyberneticist works out really well with this build because we are going to be using all three of these starting skills. And it just kind of fits the vibe, you know, humans and machines as one. I mean, yeah, that's basically a cyborg, right? So we're going to go with that one. And then for the traits, uh, we're going to select Dream Home, Extrovert, and Hero Worshipped. Uh, these are a little bit more subjective, so you're free to change these if you wish. Uh, I would recommend at least keeping Dream Home. Uh, but Hero Worshipped, Extrovert, if you want to change those out for, say, kid stuff or alien DNA or anything else that you feel that you would want on this build, like Wanted or something like that, then you're free to do so. But these are my three recommendations. The next step in order to bring this build to life is to max out our skill trees. So we're going to start out in the tech tree. And in the first tier, you want to go ahead and max out boost pack training, max out piloting, get three ranks in security in order to hack master level locks, and get two ranks in targeting control systems. Once you reach eight points, you could go for this third tier and you could go for either robotics or starship design. Robotics is something new that I added to this build. I normally wouldn't go for it, but since it is a build based around robots then you know this really fits the vibe of a cyborg so uh, you could force a target robot up to 10 levels higher to obey commands for a limited time so they could attack for you uh, but it is a little clunky to use it so even if you're not going to use that last rank you're still going to deal 30 percent more damage to robots and turrets so it's still not a totally bad perk so uh, like I said, something I normally wouldn't go for, but being that this is a cyborg, I definitely recommend you guys to try that one out. And what you want to do is, after you get 12 points total in this tree, you want to focus strictly on boost assault training. Boost assault training, it's probably one of the best perks in this game. Uh, once I found that out, I, I just cannot stop using this perk. Like It is just so much fun to use. Being able to hover slow down time uh there's just nothing that competes like it in this game as far as one single perk that can just change the whole aspect of this game so definitely recommend you guys to use that on this build focus that as soon as you get 12 points in the tech tree and you should be good to go after that next up is the combat tree and we already have one point in lasers thanks to our cyberneticist background so you want to just go ahead max that out to unlock the next tier and then from here you could focus on particle beams or rifles so particle beams they do a lot of damage they scale with not only energy weapons but ballistic weapons so you're going to get a double dip of damage here with lasers and particle memes if you have the big bang that thing is going to be one of your favorite shotguns that you're going to use with this build and yeah i recommend going for the big bang uh and then also rifles uh you want to have some kind of rifle with this build that way you can put a scope on it uh snipe with it from long range if you choose and that's where the orion comes in play here so uh, the Orion, the Big Bang, those are probably going to be your two bread and butter weapons with this build. And then from there, we can move on to Marksmanship. Since we're not really going to be using automatic weapons, Marksmanship really comes in handy here. It's just going to make your critical hit chance so high. And it's going to pair up really well with armor penetration, especially that last rank where every time you get a critical hit, enemy armor is decreased by an additional 25%. 
on top of the 50% that it already gives you with rank 3. So yeah, this is kind of how you want to set up your combat tree here. And yeah, after that, you should be doing some crazy damage on your energy weapons. The third tree is the science tree. And the main thing that I wanted to do with this tree was to be able to put on any type of mods on my spacesuits and my weapons. And in order to do that, you need one rank in special projects. So we need to get 12 points in this tree in order to unlock special projects. We're going to do that by putting four points in medicine then going for four points in weapon engineering and then you only need three ranks in spacesuit design i would totally disregard the last rank it's just not really worth it and then at this point you have 11 points so you need one more in order to get to special projects i just put it in surveying now your other option is to go for outpost engineering you might want to start ranking this up because let's say you're one of those people that like to uh really make use of outposts in this game so you have this option if you don't want to go for surveying you might just want to start ranking up outpost engineering but regardless after you get to 12 points just go straight for special projects get that one rank and eventually after level 60 you probably want to max this out if you're going to start messing with outposts and things of the sort the next tree is the physical tree and there really isn't much to do here. We're just going to max out wellness in order to increase our max HP by 40%. That's really going to come in handy on the harder difficulties. And then we're going to put one rank into stealth in order to unlock the stealth meter. So um, this is going to come in handy because you still could actually stealth with this build when you're using a rifle and when you're sniping. So. Uh, if you really wanted to, you could actually go for like a hybrid build here and level up stealth all the way. Um, but really here, all we're going to do is just get the one rank to get the stealth meter. Uh, so that way we could still perform stealth attacks if we want to. And we can also stay hidden in order to steal things and so forth. The last tree is the social tree, and we're not going to mess with anything in this tree. Um, I might make a build later on based solely around the social tree but this build we're not going to need anything here um, the only thing i could recommend is if you want to max out persuasion for any kind of increased success persuading or let's say you want one rank in theft in order to unlock pickpocketing uh, that's pretty much it here otherwise i wouldn't mess with anything here so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this build and yeah it's a pretty fun build in order to use energy weapons like Energy weapons, I just feel like there should have been more variety with them in this game. But the ones they do give you, they are pretty good. And yeah, I recommend you guys to give the Big Bang a try. Uh, that one is by far one of my favorite shotguns in the game. And it counts as a particle beam weapon too. So uh, try that out. You're going to enjoy it. And yeah, I uh, also recommend the Orion for a rifle. And yeah, those are pretty much going to be your two bread and butter weapons with this game. And yeah, you will enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.